Hi guys, Englishman here. Hope you're well wherever you are. We're right out by Melia. I'm gonna give you a quick whisk round here. Uh, today I drove out. We're gonna look for this place. Uh, it's very hard for me to pronounce because the Q in Maltese is uh, a bit difficult. Rudan means cliffs. That one I know. Il Armech. Uh, I don't even know what it means. It was a radar place in the World War, right out by the tip of Melia, on the other side of Adira Bay. So if you've ever come to Malta and you've stayed on the beach, um, and you like, uh, Adira Bay is the biggest beach really in Malta. So if you look on the other side, that's where we're gonna go now. It was a big radar place. And you know, I'm not sure if the radar is now. Uh, behind me is the Red Tower. We're in this area now, beautiful views. Just down the bottom is Church Kaua. You can see the ferries going across to uh, Gozo. There's the Red Tower. We're gonna go down this road here. I don't know what this sign is here, but it's, uh, it's a bit faded. Something to do with conservation or something, not sure. Look how quiet it is. We're going down this road here. It's going to be a bit of a drive, a bit of a bumpy drive, I think. Uh, but we're going right out by the tiff. As you show me your way. We're going right out by the tip, <laughs> and I haven't had any lagers yet. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I saw on the map it was a radar, and from World War II, war rooms. So uh, maybe it's all finished now. Anyway, we'll see what we find. Let's go. This is my island in the sun. We arrived, guys! Wow, look at the views. We came up that road there, where those people are walking. Look at the views. Right at the end. They're still using it, I think. It's all fenced off here. But this is, was the old uh, radar station. Uh, they used to use this in the wartime. So uh, it helped in the Second World War. It's uh, old war rooms here, look. Because you can see there's uh, very strong doors. So these have been used. Uh, oh, it's all fell down now. Full of rubbish in here. Looks like this one had a bit of a fire in here. You know, sometimes they come out here doing barbecues and they don't control it. That's what I really hate. And they leave all the rubbish behind them. Lots of small rooms. One thing is, 
There isn't any penises. <laughs> Look at the views, guys. Wow, so quiet. Oh, someone's left their chair here. I guess these were the old war rooms here. When they had the radar, uh, obviously they were receiving the radar. Let's walk over there. There's a very big wall there, but I don't know if it's actually... I had the stairs that lead to nowhere. <laughs> They collapsed, they were going, uh, I don't know why they actually collapsed, because the roof is still good here. Look at the uh, size of the bolts here, though. must have been some kind of security. Uh, Rudan cliffs, and you're going to see the cliffs in a minute. Ahmir, uh, I'm still researching it. If anybody knows what it means, drop it in the comments. I've got a lot of expats, so surely they uh, would know what it means. But sometimes they used to give them these names, you know, for uh, it's an antique name and they never really bothered. CCT, <laughs> they're watching me. <laughs> I'm not going to go in anyway. That looks a bit more new. Probably still is, but it's a beautiful uh, reception from here. Oh, it's so, it's so quiet, guys. There was just that couple, I don't know if they actually made it, because they were halfway walking down, so uh, a lot of people try to walk. It's not too bad today. It's hot, but it's a little bit of a breeze. I can stand it. Look at this from here. Wow. You know, I was watching, uh, I was reading that Lonely Planet, I don't know if you ever read it, he said, a guy put a comment on it, he said, this is truly the end of the world. No, but it is quite a, quite a, I think the end of the world is probably a bit better than this, but... Beautiful, eh? Well, guys, I love this. Just me, by myself, quiet. Hope you like those uh, taste tests. I've got a Ftira with me, so we're going to try it. I bought it in Shemshia. Oh, look at this over here. It looks beautiful. It's like a room. You can walk quite a lot over here. It's a bit, uh, a bit rocky. Let's have a look on the edge. Some kind of uh, strong room as well. It's got a very thick door on it. I think in the old days it had one of those dishes here. Uh, obviously it was taken down and sold for scrap, I think, like a lot of things were. You know, in some of the places in Malta, especially Campbell's Fort, when the British moved out, the Maltese moved in and just stripped the places of the metal. Uh, Campbell's Fort had so many rooms they took all the RSJs, you know, the metals, the Hadida that's holding the roof up. They took them all off and the roofs all whole fell in. So, you can imagine. In those days, the Maltese, I don't think they had the idea that these places would be... Wow, look at this. Right on the edge here. Oh, beautiful. That would be nice to go down there. A small base. I think it's hard going though. Big rocks, 
like that place we found. Uh, remember that place at uh, Atuta? <laughs> I couldn't get past that doorway. Uh, oh, this is a big drop here. Beautiful though, guys. Very bumpy. Look at the landscape. We'll go out to there, it would be beautiful to swim. Seems quite shallow as well. Wow, these are really... Big drops down here. I don't have my stick with me. I'm managing this camera. I hope you're enjoying it, guys, because I don't have the stick, so I'm holding the camera in my hand. Uh, sometimes you won't get good shots, I know. I'm still deciding which new camera to buy. There's so many on the market. I want to buy a Sony again, but... Uh, wow, expensive, eh? Five, six hundred euros. Uh, the stick used to be really useful to put it over the cliff, so... Uh, Ah, it's picking up a bit the wind now. Have to be careful by the end of the cliff because you know one of these big gusts come and blow you. That'll be the end of the videos. <laughs> Just hear the cricket. Only today I found out because I I saw a lot of places. Uh, with that Rudan, R-U-D-U-N, Rudan. And that's this guy that uh, this morning, I said, oh, can you pronounce this name? Because uh, Ahmed, I can't pronounce it. I still can't pronounce it properly, I know. But even Rudan, he said, oh, Rudan means in Maltese cliffs. I saw it a lot of places, Rudan. So they probably say the uh, Adash, Adesh, Rudan. Oh, look at these, they're like separated. Look. There's a lot of movement here. If I can get a bit close for you. Look at that big crevice in between these rocks. Right down to the, down to the bottom. All along. Probably that's what's happening. Why the, so this, over the time, this suddenly just, all, this whole section just, disappears over there. Oh, there's another one here. It's like a, a valley. Quite a, quite a big drop. It goes right along. Look how it goes. So this edge of the cliff is ready to go. <laughs> Quite a big drop there. This is a beautiful coastline now. You can see there's a bit of a pathway, so people do come up this way. We're just lucky Wednesday afternoon I don't see a lot of people. Probably the weekends is a lot more busier. This is coming right to the edge. This from here though it starts getting a bit more shallow. Oh look at that, how nice. There's that clay started again. There's a lot of hunters' dens over here. These are big drops from here.
there it is over here, the uh, where we where we parked. You know what I'll do? Try and find some old photographs of this uh, radar place. Seems like they're still using it because they've got the modern uh, radar on the top. Remember the old days with those big panels? <laughs> and now they're using the pro probably ten times as much with a small, uh, a small thing. These cracks are everywhere. Bloody the old flies everywhere as well. It's more of that sort of like a small beach. Ooh, look how beautiful. Somebody down there it must be a farmer. So you can get down here somehow. Must be a road as well because he's got a car. I'll check that out. That would be nice to get down there, eh? We'll come over another day. I think there's a there's a road. Um, if ever you go to Adira, the sort of green um, caravans. There's a road behind it. I want to go there one day and explore. Maybe that's because it's just over there, the caravan, so maybe the road comes down that sort of way. Well, look at those big rocks down there, though. I didn't go any closer. I think that's about the closest I'm going to go. Ooh. You know the trouble, you'd not, you, you want to stand a bit close, but you don't know what's underneath the, underneath the rocks. It could be, it could be solid. It could be like, because uh, this is a mixture of soil and rocks. So all you, for all you know, it could be like a mixture of soil and rocks and you stand on the rock. So be very careful if you're coming near these ends. A lot of people get into trouble. I'm going to go over the other side now, have a look what it's like from there. This is very, very uneven terrain. Um, I think I'll go over this way. Come back to you soon, guys. We made it, guys. We said five minutes. My mobile is here. Beautiful views from here. I'm gonna have some of this bread. Uh, Hobza, Maltese they call it. Ftira. Uh, no, I'm not sure what's in it. She said it was like uh, I think similar to that what we were talking about the other night when we did the taste test. Let's have a look. Can you see, it, guys? Bit of sunshine here. Uh, some tuna. Uh, obviously the, the uh, tomato puree and the oil, tomatoes, some olives, some capers. And beautiful place. What a place to have a sandwich, eh? Wow, and this is lovely the bread. Crunchy. It's quite fresh. Oh I'm enjoying this. You can see um, Chukawa here. It's not far away from when we did the cave. I think it's in the other bay, a bit further down. 
because I remember seeing something from here. It's a good walk from here though to get to that cave. God, this bread is fresh. Very good. Maybe a bit more pepper and salt. Tuna's a bit skimpy on the tuna, but it was 190. Let's have some water. No beer. <laughs> hope you're enjoying those um, taste tests something to do in the summer because um, trying to do two videos it's bloody hot to, to try and get out again I keep doing the one good one if I can get out to these places but you're happy with the taste test I'll do one of those a week and we do the live on Friday. So don't forget, I'm live 2.30 every Friday. I'll try and put a video up Tuesday and Wednesday. Depends how work is. If it's busy, then I, it's, it changes. Definitely one on Sunday. Always around 10.30. This is great, this. The tuna, I think you could have done a bit more. They were a bit skimpy with the tuna. Enjoy that. I'm going to finish this, guys. Beautiful though, these places, there's nobody here. It's not so hot today. It is a bit sunny, but um, I think it's down to about 35. We're not going over the 40th. This morning when I woke up, I saw it clouding over completely. I thought, my God, it's going to be a typical Wednesday, a stormy day. Everybody's expecting that storm to come from uh, Europe, coming over to Malta. I thought when I saw the clouds, I thought, well, it's, that's it, a finished day, but it turned out okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish that. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're well. Um, thanks for all the comments. I'm trying to get back to you. Give me a chance because it's uh, daunting when you miss a few comments and Jesus, then you've got like about 100 comments to answer. But I'll, I'll definitely answer. I, I do read some. Sometimes I don't have a chance to answer them, but I read everybody. And uh, thanks for coming over to Facebook. Don't forget, if you need anything, I'm on Facebook. That I see every day, so I can answer quick messages on that. But YouTube, when you see all those comments, like about 50 or 60 comments, and every video coming in more, I love to see the comments. Don't stop giving me the comments, it's fantastic, and the thumbs up. And sh try and share them if you can on your media. We're growing slowly, we're over 2,000 something, and I'm definitely uh, going to do that video to uh, do the freebie. I'm just trying to sort out the software because you have to try and do it live. Um, and it was some kind of... Uh, it wouldn't work, so... But I still keep it in mind. I haven't forgotten on that video, remember. Okay, guys. Take care. This is really built up. You can see the back of uh, Malia there. Everywhere getting so built in mortar, but there's still there's still some beautiful places to come to Take care everybody. See you soon English men in Malta Subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.